question for you from Mr. Chris Kushner. What do you think is the biggest level of growth that you've seen from yourself from year one to year two? Um, just attacking downhill, being aggressive towards the rim. I feel like I settled a lot last year. That's the biggest thing. Sarah Spencer. Strong fouls. Sorry about that. If you're done, uh, Sarah can jump in. Um, DeAndre, obviously a good scoring night for you tonight. Um, what was working for you tonight that, that allowed you to have a, a season high 25? Uh, like I said, I was uh, going downhill, again downhill. Had a lot of open shots, open threes, missed a few early. Uh, connected on a few in the second half, but um, just my overall aggression, I feel like, helped me this game. What do you think was the biggest reason for, uh, I mean, they had a lot of turnovers too, but what, what was the biggest, uh, you think the biggest reason for y'all's turnovers? Uh, probably in the rush. We were playing really fast. I know we wanted to play fast, get out on the breaking things, but like sometimes we need to um, slow it down just a little bit, but yeah, we were moving way too fast. This is less of a basketball question, um, but what does it mean to you to, to play on MLK Day and honor MLK the way you guys did, whether it's jerseys, court design, everything? I mean, it's really cool. Uh, the city of Atlanta, you know, um, big, uh, to, especially to get a win today. Uh, MLK meant so much for the black community. Um, I mean, for the world in general. So uh, being able to come out here and compete, uh, wear those three letters on our front of our chest and, you know, represent and get the win is, is big. Thank you. Terrell Thomas. DeAndre, we've seen a lot of growth in your game, of course, uh, so far this season. But we, uh, we've also seen you remain composed. No matter who you're defending on a night-to-night -night basis, you're getting things done on both ends of the court. Uh, I see players talking trash to you a lot, and you don't let that break you. Does uh, anything with you growing up in Philly, playing on those Philly courts and cats often talking trash, has that helped your game in the NBA? Uh, I mean, I think so. I mean, I never really engaged in, you know, trash talk and things like that because, you know, where I'm from, I heard way worse. So um, things I hear in the court don't really affect me, and I just go out there and play my game. Thank you. Jamila Johnson. Hey, DeAndre. Uh, good game tonight. Um, I just want to ask you, at the end of the game, were you kind of surprised there by uh, what D'Angelo Russell was trying to do? Or what was your reaction towards the end there? I mean, yeah, I was surprised because I didn't, I didn't know it was like what was happening at all. I didn't even, I didn't see him, I didn't hear him or nothing. I was just like, I was like taken back. So, I mean, it's cool. He was competing. I mean, I don't, I don't take it any kind of, any kind of way. Chris Kirshner. I'm going back to your ability to draw fouls. Is that just the mindset of you know, trying to attack the rim, or is there something that you're specifically working on to your ability to draw contact? Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot this summer I, I tried to, um, you know, learn things. I watched a lot of film, watched a lot of guys, you know, who draw fouls, and you know, I just tried to nitpick what they do and uh, people know with my size and what they do to draw fouls and things like that. So, um, I had a lot of time over quarantine, so. Watch a lot of a lot of film, and I feel like that that has helped me this year. Is there a player or two in particular who you watch to get something from their game? I mean, yeah, just you know, four is my size. Um, I mean, that, that that was basically it. Wasn't specifically one player, it's just you know, guys my size who who work into the line a lot. I uh, tried to watch those guys. <laughs> 